Welcome to a brand new edition of the Taiwan Outlook. I'm your host, Raymond Wu. As Taiwan becomes more international, there's a need for more systematic information on its people, its history, and its culture. Driven by this motivation, a group of professionals led by Dr. Zhen Zilang, this editor-in-chief, have been devoting their time and energy in recent years on an enormous project, the Encyclopedia of Taiwan. On today's program, we're delighted and honored to have Dr. Zhen Zilang, a state minister in the cabinet, to be our guest. Dr. Zhen, welcome to the Taiwan Outlook. Yes, very nice to be here. Well, and it's an honor to have you here. Oh, it's an honor to, for me to be here. <laughs> okay. Well, Dr. Zhen, let's begin with the Encyclopedia of Taiwan project. This is a huge project. Would you mind sharing with us some of the motivation and the drive behind such a huge project for Taiwan. Okay, if you want to know about it, yes. you know, when I take this, this job, you know, yes. in a sense, we talk about ET. Yes, Encyclopedia, a, Encyclopedia of Taiwan. Of Taiwan. <laughs> yes. And so it's just, just like uh, when we talk about ET, people talk about, oh, this is uh, that little extraterrestrial people yes. that are coming from outer space. Mm -hmm. In a sense, yes. we're talking about a big, big project. Mm -hmm. It is. The reason that we have this is Taiwan is a very small island. Mm -hmm. But over the last 50 or 60 years, yes. Taiwan created a tremendous power in terms of economy, yes. in terms of its culture, mm -hmm. in terms of its history. Yes. And then during the last 10 years, in fact, we are working on some digital project already mm, okay that collect we call digital archive okay and before that we already have digital museum yes digital library okay and all these projects shape us to look at the taiwan it's in tremendous amounts of information yes it's diversity yes it's pluralism in terms yes. of culture yes and so when you look at it this is something that we are very different we are out there yes in a small island but we have a lot of power, mm -hmm. cultural power. Yes. So when I took the job, uh -huh. before I took this job, yes. I was actually working on as a chief, you know, in terms of the investigator yes. for National Digital Archive Project. Mm, okay. And after that, we talk about different kind of collections in Taiwan. Mm -hmm. We look at the people, we look at all sort of zoology, yes. we look at all our anthropology studies and, and everything. Mm -hmm. So once we look at this, you begin to see Taiwan is very, very unique of course. in its world status. Mm -hmm. okay. In here, if you look at the zoology, they are very different. Mm -hmm. There's 200 mountains yes. over 3,000 meters high. Mm. In this area, you couldn't find it. No. And so it's unique. Mm -hmm. In terms of its in, in, you know, climate, yes. we have the current from the Siberia. Of course. We have the you know, hot current from the southeast. And yes. then you see all these things coming together. Mm -hmm. Taiwan is very unique in mm -hmm. terms of its plant, yes. in terms of its, its location. animal, yeah. mm -hmm. and so on and so on. Mm -hmm. So we need to present to the world Taiwan not only is rich and diversity in terms of biology, mm -hmm. in terms of culture, in terms of history. You know, we have Aboriginal people here mm -hmm. for about 8,000 years. Yes. We call it history. Yes. And then we have all sorts of people who came from 500 years ago, 400 years ago. We have Portuguese, we have Dutch people, we have Japanese, and then we have all the Menenders, we yes. have new immigrants. Yes. So this is a very culture-rich pe yes. place. Very so diverse. If you think about it, we need to present this cultural diversity to the world mm -hmm. and show this is Taiwan, mm -hmm. very unique, mm -hmm. very powerful. Yes. And that's yeah. why we, yeah. the reason behind it, we to do it. 
Yes. When did the fraud, you know, the project first begin? Well, the project began about, well, about two or three years ago. Yes. Okay. It's a kind of shaping okay. from different idea. Okay. But the launch, the really, is two years ago. Okay. Yeah. And so we already have finished in two years project. The oh, first okay. six volumes okay. coming out. Yeah. yeah, altogether you're going to be doing 18 volumes. 18 altogether. volumes and each with uh, 400,000 words. Okay. Uh, that's, uh, something like that. Yeah. And so it's going to be a different subject uh -huh. and we have divided into different uh, categories yes. and categories and people okay. working on this. Yes. Yeah. Given the magnitude of the project, what was the major objectives? that you would like to achieve, both in terms of domestically and also internationally? I think, as I said, yes. the richness of the culture yes. in, within a very small island. Mm -hmm. The people think Taiwan is very small. But you think about it. Why we have so many of our scientific technology are now famous in all over the world. Yeah, huge we create power. Yes. Very uh, important science industry, mm -hmm. and then we have outsell a lot of places in terms of PC, mm -hmm. in terms of notebook, mm -hmm. in terms of LCD, and so mm -hmm. on and so on and so on. Mm -hmm. There must be something behind it mm -hmm. that the small island creates so much economic power. Mm -hmm. Yes. So in order to let people know about Taiwan, so this project has a mission to present ourselves, and to, so people will know they look at Taiwan mm -hmm. and say, well. Made in MIT, made in Taiwan. Yes. It's really great. Yes, means and quality. The quality wise, mm -hmm. and then in terms of uh, the cultural diversity, mm -hmm. biological diversity, geological diversity, everything. Mm -hmm. This place is small but rich, and then huge amounts of different product mm -hmm. coming out of the island with quality. Yeah, and also huge potential for the future and the growth of Taiwan. Oh, yes. 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 Yeah. That's how we. Aiming for yeah. yes, and given the fact that this is an ongoing project, you've already devoted two years of your time on the project, but it's going to go on. You only finished the first six volumes, and there are twelve more to go. Mm -hmm. What are some of the more difficult issues that you've encountered in the past two years when you were compiling the first six volumes? Well, in Taiwan, uh -huh. when you begin to talk about culture, yes, the budget always too small. <laughs> okay, that's. Well, people think about, oh, this is a compiling some people who get together and mm. talk about their specialty. Mm. No, this is a, a really a cutting edge technology mm -hmm. had to be behind it. Mm. Scholarship had yes. to be behind it. Yes. And if we want to make some really great volumes and authentic, mm -hmm. authoritative, mm -hmm. then you really need to get the best people of the island, mm -hmm. best scholars. Of course. And then to put them together, you need the great work teams yes and right now if you ask me what the most difficult part yes we don't have enough manpower you don't how many people have committed you know their time and energy on the project already well in terms of working together, together working team yeah not the scholar uh -huh. we're talking about this people maybe only about less than 10 people really yeah because for such uh, a huge project for that such huge project but taiwan that's one of the very important part of taiwan any one person can work for 100 people's power. Yes. That's us. One person can make a difference. Yeah, can make mm -hmm. a difference. And so it's, it's fine. But we have about 800 scholars being called together to work. And then you can see the most difficult part is to make each other understand each other. Yes. We have theme that we have to go on. Uh -huh. And then we have a, a common objective yes. to make this a unique project yes. to show us as Taiwanese, yes. our culture uh -huh. and our future. Yes. Yeah. So three things. We need to show the people mm -hmm. we have the ability to analyze the past. Mm -hmm. We have the ability to talk about, describe right now okay. what's happening present. in Taiwan, yes. the present time, mm -hmm. in terms of its uh, everyday happening mm -hmm. and why, what behind it. Mm -hmm. And then from these volumes, we hope people domestically or internationally can look at this and say Taiwan is painting their future mm. out of this. Mm -hmm. So we are prescribed okay. what Taiwan should be. 
Okay. And its place in the world. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. analyze the past, describe the present, and then prescribe the future. Yes. That's what we are aiming for. Yeah. I also know that you're going to come out with a paper edition first, and then later you're going to do the digital yeah. edition. Yeah. And how is that going to, you know, uh, I mean, is that going to help facilitate the process, or is it going to well, be a further delay? This is a digital world. Of course. You know, people who love papers yes. because they look nice. Mm -hmm. But gradually, people is going to be relying much more on the digital mm -hmm. form. In a platform or digital platform, you can add, you can correct, you can modify. Mm. And then with a lot of people coming in, mm -hmm. so you are not only talking about scholarly no. authority work, no. you're talking about, I have to have the people out there looking for what they are looking for. Yes. And so they can add it, their voice. Yes. So digital form in the future will be very important. Mm -hmm. And then, so we can interact with the audience, yeah, the course. readers, yes. and all the people. So be open-ended and two-way exchange. In the future, yes. yes. Okay. Is that the future of our production in terms yes. of publication? It's certainly Digital gonna, publication, yes. Yeah, it's gonna, certainly going to make the encyclopedia a lot more updated as people are participating in the process. Yeah, that's the reason I said we need more resource yes. from the government. Yes. Because we're talking about a new era of production. Yes. An interaction yeah, with the people. Course. Yes, yeah. that's very important. In our discussion just now with Dr. Chen Zilang, the two issues that emerged from his you know, uh, conversation, one is about diversity, the other one is about sustainability. On those issues, we'll come back and discuss with Dr. Chen Zilang a little more after a short break. We'll be right back.